Here we go. Are you ready for 11 days of awesome? The Tulsa State Fair is canceled uh, last year, as you know, because of the pandemic. Now the final piece is being put together for opening day, which is tomorrow. Amanda Blair is here to chat everything Tulsa State Fair. <laughs> uh, it's great to see you. Good to see you. Uh, and great to have the fair back as well. We're very um, excited. I remember interviewing Mark Andrus last year when the fair was canceled and how broken he felt. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you feel around this time last year? It was definitely disappointing and we still had five days of awesome with the 4-H and FFA shows, but we're definitely back and excited to have this year going tomorrow. Yeah, it was different last year, wasn't it? I still went. Uh, we had, <laughs> there was still music on the stage. There was a lot of food, but it definitely did feel like so much was missing. And so, so much is back this mm -hmm. year. Uh, is there anything as folks come back this year that they're going to notice maybe that they hadn't seen before? Well, we've got a lot of great new ground shows. Uh, the Jetpack Flying Circus, which is, has a jet ski flying a human above the sky, should be very interesting. We've also got a great dog show with Pirandis, and he's added a new element with a stunt dog, uh, jumping dock dog act. So that should be very fun, and who doesn't love dogs? <laughs> Yes, but we've got a lot of great entertainment on the stage. We've got vendors, food, rides, the full programming. So we're very excited for the 11 days of awesome. Yeah, and Amanda, I want to talk about that. You know, yesterday we talked a lot about the fair. We talked about the inspection process mm -hmm. that was unfolding when it came to the rides, came to the food. Uh, we mentioned yesterday 160 vendors, if I recall correctly, will be on hand. Yes, uh, and even some new rides this year. We do. We've got about six new rides in total. We have 66 rides and with your mega ride pass, you can ride those rides all day every Every day and get into the fair. Uh, I want to talk to you uh, about, you know, the fact that we are still in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, I know that y'all are taking precautions uh, when it comes to COVID-19. Talk a little bit about that. Safety is always top priority at the Tulsa State Fair, and we've got a great maintenance and EVS team who really strive to clean our facilities all year long, but we'll have extra emphasis on that during the Tulsa State Fair with the high touch services. We'll have great, we have 10 new quad sinks, and those are hand washing stations. So those will be strategically placed throughout the grounds to make sure we're providing a safe, clean environment for the patrons. We were chatting during the commercial break about how fun your job is because <laughs> you're hosting all these events all year round. Uh, what are some of your favorite events? I mean, Obviously, the fair, I'm sure, is probably top of the list. Some others that come to mind? The fair is definitely number one for us, but I love going to the boat show, Chili Bowl, the Home and Garden Show. We've got about 400 events at the complex throughout the year. Yeah. Amanda, when it comes to the fair, uh, what do you think for somebody? I mean, listen, I know it's going to be probably hard to find somebody who's never been before, <laughs> but for that person who hasn't, uh, what is a must-see in your opinion or maybe a must-do this year? I think a must do is just getting out there and enjoying the atmosphere with your family and friends, making memories. You know, that's what it's all about is tradition, you know, seeing the livestock shows, you know, introducing people to elements that they're not exposed to on a regular basis, uh, providing that educational element. Of course, the rides and, you know, my favorite must do is, of course, eat away <laughs> uh, across the midway with uh, my favorites, fried pickles. Yeah, I remember covering this last year and, you know, when it was canceled and the fact that, you know, it's a tradition for many people mm -hmm, you know I remember interviewing a woman who had never missed one mm -hmm. uh, Nancy comes to mind she said she always goes for a birthday every year so it is so great to have it back for 11 full days this yes. year <laughs> yeah Amanda great to see you thank uh, you thank you for being with us of course we wish you Mark and your team uh, you. an incredible 11 days of awesome the fair kicks off tomorrow opens up 9 a.m. tomorrow morning and we're back right after this